What happens if a brake rotor goes below the minimum wear specification? What happens if a brake pad goes below the minimum wear specification? What does that mean for the caliper? This video is sponsored by Advix. The journey of advanced technology starts and stops with Advix. Visit AdvixAftermarket.com for more information. The reason why there's minimum wear specifications for both brake pads and brake rotors, well, it refers back to the caliper. It's nothing to do with warping rotors or brake fade. It actually comes down to how far the piston inside the caliper can travel. Because if you have a rotor that's below the minimum wear specification and you have a pad that is fully worn out down to the backing plate, it can cause a hydraulic failure. In other words, the pistons inside the caliper are gonna come out, either start to leak or become dislodged. This is a problem because all of a sudden, the brake pedal, it goes to the floor. And this can cause an accident and complete brake failure on the vehicle. So it's critical when you're working on a vehicle and their brakes and you're doing an inspection, look at the minimum wear specifications and make sure that you're measuring the rotor. If you're not measuring the rotor, well, you're missing out on one of the most safety important specs on a vehicle because this determines how the caliper and the brake pads are gonna to work together. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.